So I was in Zoom lectures, and I didn't have anything else better to do, so I started reading my Brita manual. Because do you actually think I pay attention in class? Ha! I scoff at thee. When my mind pondered one of the deepest, most philosophical questions it could think of. If Aqua purifies everything, how can she get drunk? Aqua, the goddess of water and head of the Axis cult, shows throughout the entirety of Konosuba that she can purify anything from simple tea to the demon General Hans's most potent toxin. One of her character tropes, though, is to celebrate and get super drunk. But if she's able to purify anything, shouldn't the rare bubbly she drinks just be water? I've actually seen this question tossed around a few times online before, but these people clearly don't understand how water becomes clear or purified. So, what we're gonna be talking about today on this episode of Stan Science. Uh, wait, no, wrong series. Konosuba Science. No, 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 that doesn't have a good ring to it. Uh, isekai Analyst. Sure, let's go with that. Name pending. We're going to be talking about Aqua's purification. How does purification work without the use of goddess magic? Well, there's actually many ways. One of the most obvious is thermal distillation. Say you have a bowl of salt water. If you add enough heat to it, eventually it will boil off. And when the water is boiling, it starts to evaporate. And if you catch those water particles and condense them again, you can get fresh purified water. This is the most natural way of purification, but it is also the least efficient. Heat is being lost to the air surrounding the bowl, and I hate heat transfer, so let's not use this method. Also, that's really the reason why we don't turn the ocean water into drinking water. It's just way too costly and requires too much energy. How about electrolysis, the process of using electricity to break up H2O into hydrogen and oxygen? When water decomposes at standard temperature and pressure, it needs 1.23 volts to oxidize. This is one of the methods that's actually used in the production of hydrogen for fuel cells to power cars and other appliances. I actually did a final presentation during undergrad on direct methanol fuel cells being used to power exoskeletons for manufacturing and military applications. But that, once again, is not what we're looking for for water specifically. In analysis of flood water purification, electrolysis only clears up 80 to 85 percent of the solid pollutants. So, not bad, but nowhere near drinking level. So let's think about it. Where do we get our drinking water that comes out of our faucet? It's as simple as coagulation and flocculation. Coagulation is the process of neutralizing waste in water by destabilizing chemicals in them. Aluminum sulfate, aluminum chloride, PaCl, ferrous sulfate, ferric chloride, all of these chemicals are the most commonly used. These chemicals have a positive charge, and when they come into contact with the wasteful materials that have a negative charge, this allows the clays, silt, dirt, and other solids in the water to mesh together. So what the flock are the disgusting groups of waste called? Well, it's flock. Flocculation is the process after coagulant chemicals and the water have mixed enough together so that particles can settle at the basin of a purification tank. Next, you scoop up that flock, run a little ozone or chlorine through your water, depending on how you feel, and you get rid of the rest of the bacteria and viruses, and then just pump it through your pipes and you're ready to drink. Now, when aqua purifies water, we can assume that the process is using coagulation. When Cosma's party takes the quest to purify a lake, aqua states that Touching the water should be enough to purify it in about half a day or so. We can rule out thermal distillation because that seems more of an offensive type of magic and requires way too much energy. So Megumin, eat your heart out, just explode the lake and create enough heat to purify it. So it's shown that Aqua not only has goddess purification that acts as a passive ability, but also purification magic, which is far more direct. We can hypothesize that Aqua's body is covered in these coagulating chemicals and when needed, she can concentrate them into her hands. So then why does she get drunk if she drinks alcohol? It's simple. What are you, stupid? Are you dumber than Aqua? There's five senses, right? Sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. At no point in this entire discussion did I ever say she directly touches the alcohol. She always grabs a bottle of her bubbly. And this isn't even taking the opinion that, oh, she just chooses not to purify it. No, if her purification is a passive ability, then it can't be turned off. But Aqua's accidentally brewed tea before and caused it to purify into water. So what's going on there? Well, Aqua has to touch the tea leaves directly, leaving her coagulating chemicals on them, which inevitably purifies the water. The chemicals in coagulation cannot penetrate glass, and they also can't penetrate steel mugs. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why every instance of her using her purification directly shows her touching the liquid itself. Sometimes she overdoes it, but closing argument, Aqua can get drunk 
because she knows the difference between touch and taste. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see if this actually becomes a series on the channel. I don't know yet. This video was kind of fun, a little short, sweet, to the point. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications for the time that I calculate how much energy goes into Megami's Exupidogen in a future video. Have a beautiful doing, and I'll see you all next time.